Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the first for figures, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic and Tails, Jungle Edition figurine. So we'll get straight into it. We'll show you the box guys, like always, very nicely detailed. So uh, do let us know down in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. So you've got plenty of these figurines on the channel if you want to check them all out. Um, just so you know guys, only 300 of these pieces were produced. So it's going to be a bit hard to find them in the wild if you are going to chase one or hunt one down. This is number 198 out of the 300, so um, a little bit over half the production line there. What I'm going to do, guys, is just stand up slightly just to get uh, the uh, polystyrene housing the figurine out of the box. Got a little bit of advertising there, which comes with all their figures and information about first figures. Okay, so just flip it up and then we'll... Uh, Hopefully get it out. We'll show you the base as well. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like the original Sonic ground. They've even put detail into the base of the uh, box, which they don't normally have to do, as you can see guys right there. So pretty cool that they went to that effect. Okay, so we'll leave that there. This is the advertising piece of uh, brochure. And then it says this side down. So it's upside down at the moment. So we'll flip that around. So that's the bottom guys as you can see they've etched the statue into the polystyrene which is pretty cool to check out and then on the other side which says this side up and all the logos so you've got first figures sonic the hedgehog and then sonic and tails as well we've also got the card there for authenticating the uh, figurine okay so what we'll do now is we'll cut the tape guys If you are interested, uh, you can go check out all the other figurines on the channel that I've unboxed so far. I've uh, got a whole bunch more on the way under production, so do keep an eye out, guys, for um, when uh, they arrive and the content drops and goes live. I think I've got one more side to go. So on one, the uh, top side, guys, they uh, put a sticker on which has it's passed the uh, quality check so that's good that they um, check all that now we'll lift the lid off and we'll start pulling out all the contents okay so looks like here we've got sonic's or tails tail guys so pretty cool he's uh going into flight mode and we've got an enemy here so that's a pretty cool looking enemy, in my opinion. It's kind of like a rhino. And it looks like we've got a head for Sonic. So these things are quite large and heavy, guys. Just be aware of that. Um, that's why it's easier to stand up to uh, get most of the contents out of these boxes. Uh, there's Tails' head. Also be careful of these uh, thin pieces as well because they do tend to uh, break easy. So just be aware of that guys. Next up looks like we've got Sonic. Uh, oh, they're joined together. So we've got Sonic and uh, Tails here. And we've got some foam there protecting them because they're quite thin and uh, pretty going to be pretty um, easy to break I would assume that's why they've gone and reinforced those got the base there and then we've got a few extra items here which are going to go into the environment most likely so we've got a bit of a tree or a cactus going on there and then we've got looks like another four items here so we have A silver looking spike probably like the spike that he'll uh, you know when you're playing the Sonic game he falls on the spike so I'm assuming that's the effect they're going for here and he drops all his coins or if you got no coins uh, you pretty much lose your life or uh, if you got no lives it'll be game over Back in the day when there was game over screens, I don't tend to uh, like giving people game over screens anymore these days. OK, 
like a, got our fourth spike there. Now I'm just going to stand up guys to get the base, like I said, quite heavy, quite large and um, they can break easily if you don't pick them up properly. So just be careful. The bases are normally the heaviest part of the uh, figurine guys as well. So pretty cool, pretty cool green design. We'll get rid of this. It's not nothing more in there. So we've got um, a section here where it's, they've uh, glad wrapped it. I'm assuming that's just for added support, cling wrap, whatever you call it. But um, I can't really see any other reason for having this on the uh, figurine. Maybe they just couldn't get extra padding because this is the only place it's fixed, guys. And then you've got um, a uh, you'll slide an object onto that stick as well, adding extra weight. I'm assuming it's going to be Sonic uh, and Tails. But we'll get there shortly. Just unwrap all this. Definitely not going to be fun wrapping this thing back up again to uh, put back in the box, but um, nearly there, guys. Um, they definitely um, haven't made it easy. I assume someone would have had to do this by hand rather than uh, an actual machine or. Um, piece of equipment wrapping around this, but I could be wrong. Definitely the first figurine I've seen with um, a bit of cling wrap, glad wrap, holding it together. I assume that's what they're trying to achieve there. All right, there's our base guys. So pretty cool, uh, you got grass, um, holes there for uh, items there that we're going to stick into. Uh, got some rocks. On the back side we've got all the information and the uh, our product number, production number. Alright so we'll start off with the spikes. They look like they're going to go in the front here. Now they do only clip, they're magnetized but they only go in one way. That looks nicely and uh, presentable so just play around with it. You might be lucky like that and get it first go but otherwise uh, it will take you a couple of goes. Now this is uh, too large for in there. It's magnetized so it does want to stay but um, definitely not um, where it should go. Um, there's a spot up here. Quite uh, different to have a tree hanging upside down. But uh, there you go. Alright now let's stick uh, the enemy. So he's going to go in here. Uh, he's going to go that way. That was easy. And now let's do Sonic's head. Just be careful pushing these in, guys. Um, it's all new and it's all tight. So just be careful, nice and gentle. Otherwise, you will break stuff. Now we've got Tail's head. Um, and then we've got Tail's tail. I don't know if I should put this in first or uh, I might just wait. So I'll stick Sonic the tails up. Now, let me uh, just spin this around so I can get to this. So it looks like he's kind of lifting him over the top of spikes, which is pretty cool. Um, I think he's gonna slide in like so. So definitely taking Sonic for a ride, getting him out of danger. And the last piece, guys, is the tail. So let's... Um, push that on and uh, that's in all right perfect all right guys well uh, that's our figurine so quite a nice piece um, do like that if you are interested I've done the exclusive version as well so go check that out on the channel that one lights up it's kind of like a uh, volcano kind of setting as well so it's pretty cool that they did two different um, settings for this um, regular and exclusive version but um, like I said earlier though do let us know down in the comments what you think maybe which one you prefer over the other 
And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we do on the next giveaway, so do subscribe for running for that, and we'll catch you next time.